Welcome back to this special Easter edition of Business View. Before moving on, let's uh, cross to Julia Lee from Bell Direct for a wrap of the market's performance this week and a look at the week ahead. Hi, Julia. Hi, the market had been looking quite flat before the last session of the week and it was that last session which saw the Australian market with losses for the week. It is a shortened week but uh, a loss of 0.5%. And of course the industrial sector very much in focus. We saw Transfield, the latest in the industrial sector with a big profit warning and that stock down by 13% making the industrial sector the worst performing sector for the week with a loss of 2.4%. But on the flip side we saw some renewed interest in Telstra and that saw Telstra the best performing area of the week up by 2%. Of course the Australian market will now be on a five-day Easter break and while we're on a break there's lots happening. The first to absorb will be the US non-farm payroll numbers out in the US on Friday. 205,000 jobs expected there and then on Sunday we'll see some numbers coming out of China. New yuan loans, 200, uh, 780 billion dollars worth expected there and then on Monday we'll see the China CPI numbers and that of course will feed into expectations around interest rates in China as well as the trade balance numbers on Tuesday. So this is likely to set the tone for the Australian market reopening on Tuesday after the break and here domestically the only real official numbers that we'll get out of Australia next week are new home loans. So we'll be watching those numbers on Tuesday and we're uh, expecting to see a positive number there. Okay Julia thank you.